Good evening, everyone. Minneapolis icon hit hard by the pandemic is embracing the new normal. Shapiro's Deli testing all of its employees for COVID-19. Wish TV's Dan Klein reports it's something the owner says he owes to both them and his customers. Shapiro's is closed for the night, but Tuesday afternoon, there were two lines here, one on the inside for the carryout, the other on the outside in the parking lot where there was testing for coronavirus. But even with all the customer support, if things don't change soon, it could be closed for good. Hey there, are you looking tested today? Yes. A line of cars in the Shapiro's parking lot, but it's not customers, it's employees. <laughs> not painful, but not pleasant either. Each employee getting a test for the coronavirus. Inside, it's a bit eerie. The counter closed, as it's been for weeks. All the chairs stacked upside down. I miss the chatter. I miss the chatter at lunch. And the chatter the rest of the day, too. Elise Kittner, one of the fortunate ones, part of the skeleton staff. A few minutes earlier, she took her turn outside. Thank you. Not as bad as I thought, actually. For her, the decision to test all employees oh, man. is a no-brainer. Working with the public like we do, um, just making sure that we're staying safe, um, we're keeping our customers safe, and our staff, our staff safe. Absolutely. I think that it's the new normal. Owner Brian Shapiro isn't excluded either. Inside, the carryout line is constant for a Tuesday. Even though takeout has seen a nearly 300% increase since mid-March. But nowhere near what we can afford, you know, with an empty restaurant of this size or scale. There's no discount on the utilities, the phones, the taxes. And with no NCAA Sweet 16, no typical spring sports tournaments, no conventions, business is down at least 80%. After 115 years of operations, seven weeks into the restaurant seating closure, he says he doesn't have much time left. 30 days, and that would just be the end of it. And while he thinks 50% capacity seating will add 90 days, there's no telling when that will be allowed in Marion County. Still, the testing is something he's adding. We owe our duty to our employees, to the customers, to start having a baseline. Even as he knows with results likely Thursday, it's only a snapshot in time with no indication of future results. Yet the hazmat suits and the swabs will be regulars in the parking lot, something Kentner never thought would be in the job description when she was hired one year ago. Absolutely not. The times have changed. <laughs> no, didn't think that would happen. But it's important. Yes, very important. Brian Shapiro plans to test his employees every one to two weeks. Now, the testing is done by a private lab, and each round costs several thousand dollars, but he believes he'll be reimbursed either through private insurance or through the federal payroll protection program. In his words, he tells me he hopes Mayor Hogsett loosens those restrictions as soon as he feels like it's safe. Reporting downtown, Dan Klein, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.